Today on Santa Monica Update. There's been a rise in car accidents involving pedestrians in Santa Monica. I'm Yana Kay and I'll tell you why that's happening and what you can do to stay safe. That's coming up. The city's making it safer and easier to get rid of household hazardous waste with a new home collection service. Stay tuned, we've got all the details. Coming up, three Santa Monica businesses that are ready to serve. We'll have these reports and more news from the city of Santa Monica coming up. I'm Gail Choice. Santa Monica Update, your source for local news in Santa Monica. Santa Monica Update starts now. Welcome to Santa Monica Update. Almost 34,000 people recently applied for low-income housing in Santa Monica. The master wait list for affordable housing programs is now closed. The City of Santa Monica Housing Division received 33,943 applications in 35 hours for the master wait list. That list is for all of the affordable housing programs offered by the city, including the Section 8 Housing Choice Voucher Program. About 10% of those who applied are Santa Monica residents, 173 of whom are veterans. While the City of Santa Monica's website experienced some technical challenges, the Housing Division believes that 33,943 applicants is more than adequate and the list has been closed. Applicants may check their application status online at waitlistcheck.com or over the phone by using the voice response system at 1-800-376-5058. Whether you live in Santa Monica or you love to visit, chances are you spend a lot of time walking around. And that means sharing the road with drivers. So Santa Monica officials want to remind everyone how to stay safe on the road. Yana Kay has more. These pedestrians are following the rules and using a designated crosswalk to cross the street, but many others are cutting corners and putting their lives at risk. Uh, what we're probably seeing this year is it's a combination between uh, the pedestrians breaking the law, jaywalking, not looking before they go into the intersection, and then distracted driving as well. In fact, officials say they've seen four fatalities involving pedestrians this year, as opposed to only one last year. Sergeant Lewis says there's one main reason. I think just people are in a hurry. Overall, people are rushing to get from one place to another. Um, if everybody were to slow down and take their time, there'd be a lot less accidents. Sergeant Lewis says other factors such as distracted drivers using their cell phones and pedestrians simply not paying attention to oncoming traffic can be a recipe for disaster. One of the biggest misconceptions pedestrians have when crossing the street is that they think it's okay to cross anywhere they like. Well, in fact, that is not the case at all. The only time they have right of way is when they're crossing at a designated crosswalk. Sergeant Lewis says staying safe on the road doesn't have to be difficult. Just follow the rules, be aware, and... Slow down, allow for more time to get where you're wanting to go. Only cross at intersections. Um, when you get to that intersection or into that marked crosswalk, before you step out, make sure that the vehicles are actually yielding for you. Sergeant Lewis says you shouldn't begin crossing when the traffic light shows a don't walk or solid hand sign. Make sure to stay on the curb until it's your turn and always remember to look both ways. For City TV, I'm Yana Kay. So remember, be alert, look both ways, be wise, cross at controlled intersections, be patient, don't rush out into the street, be safe. Don't start to cross until you're sure vehicles are stopping. Be seen, make eye contact with the driver, and be bright. Wear bright clothing that makes you more visible to drivers. For more information, go to SantaMonicaPD.org or call SMPD Community Relations at 310-458-8474. Planning for the Pico Library is well underway. Next year, if all goes well, construction should begin in early summer on the new library, which will be located next to the Thelma Terry Community Center at Virginia Avenue Park. 
Construction should take about 19 months, and then the Pico neighborhood will be able to celebrate the opening of their new local library. The Buy Local Movement has a new partner, the Santa Monica Malibu Education Foundation. Some of our local stores are donating 4% of their sales to help offset the deep budget cuts that have been imposed on our schools by the current fiscal crisis. When you shop local and buy at local independent stores, up to $68 of every 100 you spend stays in our community. For a list of participating merchants, go to buylocalsantamonica.com. Proper disposal of household hazardous waste, like old paint and chemical cleaning products, or computer equipment and dead batteries, used to require making a special trip to the Michigan Avenue Waste Center, which could be inconvenient and even unsafe. But now, thanks to the city's new household hazardous waste home collection service, Santa Monicans can skip the hazmat hassle. Now you can get rid of these items safely and easily with a phone call or an email. Let's take an inside look at this new and convenient plan. We all know that many of the products and materials used around the house every day, from chemical cleaners, paints and car care products, to batteries, electronics and computer equipment, are potentially hazardous and require special handling. And when it's time to send that stuff to the heap, these items definitely should not be mixed in with regular trash. Santa Monica residents used to have to lug all that litter to the Michigan Avenue Waste Center. But now the city's offering a door-to-door -door household hazardous waste collection service that's safe, convenient, and easy to use. Simply call the toll-free 800 number or send an email to hotline at curbsideinc.com to set up a collection date. Once your appointment is confirmed, you'll receive a collection kit by mail that comes complete with detailed disposal instructions along with plastic bags and labels to fit your particular needs. Remember, there are numerous categories of hazardous waste to consider, so carefully read all provided instructions and double check that your items are accepted in the program. Also check for leaky containers and make sure everything is labeled. Leaking or unlabeled containers will not be accepted. On pickup day, take your waste items out to your front doorstep or predetermined pickup spot and place them in the plastic bags provided in the collection kit. Do not fill the bag and drag it to the pickup spot. This could be really dangerous to yourself and the environment. Caution is key. Once your bags are filled, make sure they're tightly sealed and properly labeled. Place larger items together with everything else at your predetermined pickup site. Do not place the bag on the street, curb, or alleyway. And that's it. A hazardous waste specialist will handle everything from there. You don't even have to be home. Thanks to Santa Monica's new Hazardous Waste Home Collection Service, getting rid of these items has never been easier. Schedule your collection today. At Home Hazardous Waste Collection is a free and unlimited service for Santa Monica residents. For more information, visit sustainablesm.org slash HHW. To schedule a collection date, just call 1-800-449-7587 or send an email to hotline at curbsideinc.com. Drop off your dry cleaning, get the oil changed, pick up the pictures that you had enlarged. Where would we be without these everyday essential businesses? They might not be giants of the consumer world like Nike and Nordstrom, but the services they provide are far more critical for day-to-day -day life. City TV's Greg Goldner caught up with three Santa Monica businesses to find out just how important the littler guy is to a community. At six years old, Victor Vasco, a young Spaniard, looked over his father's shoulder watching in great detail as his father, a well-known tailor, created some of the most fantastic clothes. It was then that Victor found his calling. So for the last 25 years, with the help of his wife, Victor has owned and run one of the most successful tailoring and dry cleaning businesses on the west side. We have been established for the last 25 years in the same location. He has been a dry cleaner most of the time in this building. And we have a more than 50 year experience in tailoring. And we have a four tailors working full time, seven days a week. From the chemical-free soap to the special green earth machines, Victor uses a cleaning method which is considered to be one of the most eco-friendly processes out there. 
and Victor's dream was to not only have a business near the beach, but to have a business that he loved to do and loved to hang out at. So from plasma TVs and moving trains to exotic fish tanks and even birds that make him smile, Victor's having a good time living his dream. The birds I like it because they make a good company. They, quiet, they sing a lot and it make me happy. And the fish, I love it. They, they only eat and don't, go, they don't talk. As a native Santa Monica resident, Joe Padilla was always interested in photography. One day, Joe realized that there was a need for a store that specialized in everything that the big stores like Best Buy and Radio Shack didn't have. And 16 years ago, Santa Monica Camera came to fruition. Santa Monica Camera, we started in 1995. We've been in business close to 16 years. Um, we basically handle all the stuff the big stores don't handle, like specialty items. While this exclusive Canon dealer does actually sell cameras, Santa Monica Camera prides themselves in helping the customer get answers and solve problems. We offer solutions to people and people have a problem, they need, don't know how to download pictures. You, want, you have an old videotape, you want to convert it to a DVD, to a more current media so you can at least preserve it or see it. Anybody who's ever owned a car knows the importance of a good mechanic. They're kind of like a good friend. Once you find one, you always want to keep them close by. Well, get ready to meet a few new friends because the folks at Grigsby Automotive are right around the corner. Grigsby isn't your everyday automotive shop. What makes them so special? They've been here at this location since 1949. Hi, I'm Bob Grigsby, uh, owner of Grigsby Automotive in Santa Monica. My family established the business in 1949, which is 62 years on the same corner. Grigsby's does everything from oil changes to major repairs, and these days, they're even specializing in work on hybrids. From a one-man automotive repair shop in 1949 to now a multi-mechanic team, no matter how much they expand, Grigsby's will always have that family feel. Grigsby is a family-run business. Um, they've been here since 49. I've, I haven't been here that long. I've only been here for about five years. And I love it here because everybody treats everybody else like their family. And one day you're not just a customer, you're gonna become a friend. We've just shown you one of the most eco-friendly dry cleaners around. A camera store that has hard to find essentials. And an auto shop that's been in the same location for over 60 years. Santa Monica truly has it all. Remember spring cleaning? Well, it's fall cleaning time. Time to get ready for the next citywide yard sale. You can get into the recycle and reuse habit by cleaning out clothes and items that you no longer need and holding a yard sale on September 24th. Have fun and increase your funds. If you have leftovers when your yard sale is done, why not consider donating the unsold items to a local charitable organization or thrift store? Join the rest of the city. Register online at smgov.net slash r3. We have two new ways for you to connect with the Santa Monica community. Santa Monica Connect is the newest way to learn about the city and the services you want. Take a look at the website. You'll find art openings, performances, and special events all at your fingertips. That's santamonicaconnect.org. And there's a new way to get the information you need in an emergency. Sign up for SM Alerts at smalerts.net. That way, you can get emergency info in the ways that best suit your needs and preferences. Well, that's it for this episode of Santa Monica Update. I'm Gail Choice. For all of us at City TV, thanks for watching.